What's going on? Replacing doors in a bathroom, and I'm going to cut some grooves for the hinges. And I thought, you know what? I already did the closet door in the bathroom. I'm about to do the uh, the front, you know, the door that goes into the bathroom, the entrance way door. And I thought, you know what, man? Let me record this and just help some people out. And this is the new door I'm going to put on here. All right, it comes from Home Depot. It already has a uh, a knob hole drilled into it so you can put the knob on but unfortunately on the other side of the door here it doesn't have the hinges grooved out that's because you gotta measure them and do it because everyone might be a smidgen off so you gotta cut it yourself and do it so I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it pretty easy first you take the old door off this is the old door okay take the old hinges off take the uh, knob off all right I'll take the hinge off and I'll uh, come back oh that lights on oh no wonder it's so bright hold on Alright, first thing, when you take the knob off and then you take the hinges off. Off the old door. This door is just, a, you know, the old, I don't know what's inside of it. It's like cardboard, it's cheap stuff, man. So we figured we'd get the, you know, upgrade to another door. Looks a little nicer. We just redid the bathroom. And uh, I figure we put on some fresh doors, kind of look, make the bathroom look complete. All right, then you take these hinges off. All right, I took the one on the bottom off already. Okay, get yourself a nice sharp pencil and a square. You get the two doors together here, okay? Got the old door, you got the new door. Make sure it's lined up the right way. It should be with the hole there for the knob. Make sure it's perfectly together. Flush the same. On both sides. Very important, because once you start making cuts, the slightest little bit is going to make a difference. So you take your square first, you put it up against the old door, right up against the edge of the hinge, and then you scroll down. I'm going to put the camera down so I can actually, I don't have a third hand to hold the pencil, but you'll see what I'm saying. Uh, take your square. Make sure it's even. Get yourself a nice sharp pencil. And just, well, that's nice to, the point broke. All right, that's a fail. Let me sharpen my pencil. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Fresh pencil here. You just mark the edge of the hinge. And mark, it. mark on a new door right where the hinge is going to be. Do the same thing for the other side. And get it as perfect as possible.
Beautiful. Okay, now you can take your old hinge. The new hinges are the same exact one, same exact size, but brand new. This is the old hinge, okay? And you can see where it was painted over the door here. So I'm going to use that as a marker, but if you don't have the paint on it, what you do is put the hinge in here. See, it, was, it went in that way. And you would take your marker, mark where it went. See, it goes right over where I already have paint on it. And then what you do with the new door, you take your uh, marked hinge, put it right up on the edge where it should be, make sure it's straight, keep it right inside the, the two lines you made with your square, okay? draw around it like so oh yeah that looks perfect and then you do the same thing on the other side here with the other where the hinge goes Perfect, right in the middle. Perfect. Draw around it. Oh, there goes the furnace. Furnace covered. Right. Mm. That's how you get it all marked and ready to go. Yeah, what I have here is a a drill master. It's a trim router. Okay, get it from Harbor Freight. They're next to nothing. They're very cheap. And then you buy yourself some drill bits. I mean, it's good if you were uh, working around the house and you plan on doing this a couple of times, and then you could use it for uh, you know trimming wood, you know edging wood. If you're doing any projects, because you know they come with a different assortment of bits. But this is definitely better than using a chisel. That's for sure. Or a Harbor Freight, you could pick them up. What you do is when you put your blade in, you put your hinge, the new one, on it and push the blade up. So you get just the perfect. See if you can see that. Same height as the hinge. And then you tighten it up. Okay, now I tighten it up. Now you take your router that you set this depth to, and you route around your markings here.
Look at that. Perfect. Perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. Look at this. You can't even get any more perfect than that. That is ridiculously perfect. And then you do the same thing for the other side. To show you, I put the old hinge in here. It's perfect with the line. That sits right in there. Try to get the light. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. You do the same thing with the other side. Make sure you get all lined up before you turn it on. See where your line is. Icy, icy. Let me take your hinge. Give it a little tester. See how it fits. Nice. Perfect. Once again. <coughs> Beautiful. Something I definitely suggest is before you screw this in, just don't try drilling some screws, screws up in here. Make little marks right in the middle. Perfectly in the middle. And drill pilot holes in there so you know the screw goes in straight. Because if the screw goes in off to the side a little bit and when the screw sets it's going to turn it to the side a little bit then you'll be off like an eighth of an inch which is enough to screw you up when it's time to put the door on the hinges so make some little marks and drill some pilot holes you don't have to go crazy deep just make sure they're straight just a little bit
hinge in the spot here. That's how you do it. And you do the same thing for the other side. Make your marks. Right in the center, you want to be as in right in the middle of those. Right in the middle of the where the screw's gonna go. You gotta try to get it as perfect as possible. Your pilot holes. Just a little bit, not too much. You know? Just to get it. So it gets started. Don't go all the way down now, wait till you get them in, you know, you don't want it to shift. Saying now you can go down on that one, down on that one. Then this last one you just bury it up in there. Beautiful. Man. And that's how you put them in. And finally, you put your hinges on the door frame. Put the doorknob on the door. And you're all ready. Ciao, Romeo. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's how you put notches for the hinges on a on a door. Peace. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Large car race in the house. This is pretty much the final touch. Redoing my bathroom. tub, toilet, new sink, new floor, look at this, I want to see something nice, look at that, the slam free toilet, that's what I'm talking about man, this bathroom is done, that door was just the final touch. I also did the closet door. Alright people. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos.